as you'll be aware, this is a private meeting of the cabinet, to which other Kensington. Why a press here then? To which other Kensington and Chelsea councillors have been invited. I have agreed that the meeting be held in private, given the subject under discussion and the recent real threats and assaults the on council staff and damage to buildings. Are you and I'm advised that if there are others present, that we cannot have an open discussion. You've got journalists in the room. I understand, but we can't have an open discussion. You can't question organise a cabinet meeting. We can't have an unprejudiced discussion in this room uh, with the public inquiry that's about to take place if journalists are, are recording and writing our comments. Clearly they are. Who let them in? Uh, You've spent a day talking about the security of this meeting, and then five minutes before it starts, the I'm press are here. Now you're telling us we can't have a proper meeting. I'm told the press are here because of the, the result of legal intervention, and that therefore means that we cannot have a discussion as we were intending to have because that will prejudice the public inquiry. What that are you so legal, afraid of? That is the legal advice I've received, and I therefore have to declare the meeting closed. So what you've done is you've actually used this as an opportunity for you to make a statement, and nobody else gets to say anything at all. You could have issued that statement, in fact, you should have issued that statement, eight days ago. That statement has been issued. That statement has just been issued. I would like to have had a conversation, but I'm advised that we can't do that because we were prejudiced. And absolutely. Yes, sir, this is why I am calling for your resignation. Not because of what happened with the fire, but the sheer and ongoing incompetence that this council has shown ever since it happened. Thank, thank you, Lord. Thank you. I'm afraid my advice is that we can't continue. You keep telling you're taking advice. You're taking the wrong advice. The you are not facing up to your own residents or even your own councillors. I think you're right. Why don't you come to the board and help me? Why don't you come and talk to people who are on the ground and experience this, like me and my family?